Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and I've got a very serious video to talk to you about today. I don't often do serious videos uh, relating to current topics, but I felt as though uh, because this one could potentially affect me um, and other content creators who I really like, then I thought I'd take the time to talk about it. Um, so over the last day or so, a lot of people have been having their YouTube videos demonetized because they've been deemed as um, not suitable for advertising. Uh, now this has been something that uh, has affected people both large and small, um, you know, right the way up to people like the Young Turks, Phil DeFranco, um, you know, Mr. Reprison, um, lots and lots of big YouTubers have been hit as well as I assume smaller YouTubers. Um, you know, and it could literally affect anyone because the reasons that were being given and the terms of service that have been updated um, are kind of vague. Now, a lot of people are hitting out at these changes saying YouTube is censoring everyone and that, you know, this is the first step to YouTube committing sort of suicide because, you know, this is such a bad, bad thing. And, you know, I do agree with some of those points. There are also some positives that can be taken from this. Um, I mean, the firstly, the reason why I'm talking about this is because how vague the, the, the rules are can affect anyone. That includes me. Um, I've got actually a list here of some of the things that can cause you to have demonetized videos. And here we can see, um, you know, sexually suggestive content, including partial nudity and sexual humor. I don't normally deal with anything sexual. Um, I don't really do nudity. Um, you would, I would probably lose all my subscribers if I ever did. Uh, even if it's only partial, even if it's your side boob, um, I would probably lose a lot of my subscribers. Um, violence, including display to serious uh, display of serious injury and events related to violent extremism. Again, unless you can count the Clone Wars because it shows a war, it's not really going to happen. Um, or Game of Thrones reactions, you know, I don't, I'd, honestly, I don't know. Game of Thrones reactions, Clone Wars, they could technically be demonetized because it has violence in it, even though it's fictional violence. Inappropriate language, this is probably the one where <laughs> I would probably be caught on a lot because, you know, I love, uh, well, I don't love, but I do occasionally fucking swear. Um, and apologies for the profanity, profanity there. Watch your profanity. Um, you know, that I do occasionally swear in my videos, especially the reactions, because it's a natural thing for me. I'm not a vulgar person by nature, but occasionally I do let the odd swear slip through my lips. Um, so that is one that is, you know, again, most likely to be caught up on. Promotion of drugs and re regulated, uh, sorry, regulated substances, including selling, use and abuse of such items. I don't use drugs. I don't sell drugs. Um, I don't abuse drugs unless coffee is a drug. Well, coffee is a drug. So technically, yes. Um, I once, well, maybe once or twice streamed drunk on Twitch, but that's Twitch and not YouTube. Or I did post it on YouTube. So maybe, maybe I'm in violation of those. Um, I don't know, maybe I have to get drunk again. Maybe I should do a video of me just getting drunk and seeing if that one gets demonetized. We'll, we'll do an experiment. Um, controversial or sensitive subjects and events, including subjects related to war, political conflicts, natural disasters and tragedies, even if graphic imagery is not shown. This is something that is probably the most controversial point because these <laughs> controversial or sensitive subjects are a huge thing on YouTube and you know because it's news now YouTube has become a platform where news is a big part of it you know people have news shows like the Young Turks they do a lot of the news um, you know so genuine YouTube channels who create um, you know news content they're just again um, presenting real-life up-to-date world news can be, you know, can be demonetized, have their livelihoods taken away from them. That doesn't really sit well with me because, you know, surely we should be okay with being able to talk about things like this. As long as it's done in a tasteful manner, advertisers shouldn't really have too much of a problem with this. Um, this is where one of my questions come from is that we have to, I have to question whether this has been implemented directly by YouTube and whether the advertisers have had any say in it whatsoever because there are a few problems with this, not just for the content creators, but for YouTube as well. So I'm gonna get rid of this now. There we go. We got a good idea as to what constitutes a video to be unmonetized because it's not why, uh, it's not suitable for um, advertising. Now, 
what I want to talk about is one of the positives that this kind of shows is that YouTube is at least trying to take a step in the direction of trying to filter out content which is uh, negative and detracts from the brand and detracts from the environment and the community of Fa um, I was going to say Facebook then YouTube. Don't unmonetize this because I said Facebook. I'm sorry YouTube. Um, you know, drama videos, people like Keemstar, you know, Leafy, people like that who don't really serve too much of a positive purpose on YouTube. You know, I would like to see less of those, or at least those, you know, they have the, they have every right to, you know, express their opinions through this platform as long as they're not being, you know, as long as not harassing people, which they very often do, um, you know, but by demonetizing videos like that, it kind of does, um, you know, discourage them from, from, you know, using that as a main content creator, you know, sort of, um, you know, from, from a video point of view, if they are shown that, you know, you can't make money off these types of videos, maybe it'll encourage them to go down different routes and, you know, there could be some good done from this by, you know, allowing their creative juices to flow in different directions. Because a lot of these people who do, you know, the, what you'd consider the toxic, you know, I'm going to use the quote there, toxic type of content, you know, like Keemstar, like Leafy, um, you know, you can't deny that for some part they are creative in the way that they present their um, their content, you know, and that could be put to a lot of better stuff if it wasn't focused on the negative. So hopefully some of these changes will encourage people to, you know, bring out more of a positive side of themselves. But again, the problem is it's going a bit too far. Um, you know, you look at someone like um, Phil DeFranco, who again presents the news, um, and you know relevant topics, um, not just you know on in the world on the internet as well. You know, realistically, his content is not deemed toxic. You know, it's not out to everyone's taste, but it's certainly not harmful. Um, you know, again, they're flagging up videos that are talking about things like politics. In fact, I, I read on uh, Reddit today that there was a channel. I can't remember the name of the channel, but they did educational videos about um, nuclear power and the benefits and the detractions of, you know, of using that type of a power. And because it involved talk about, you know, a nucle nuclear sources, you know, that they have their money's, uh, their videos demonetized as well. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't, really doesn't make sense. You know, I can appreciate what YouTube is trying to do in terms of trying to rein in some of the, the content that is being put out there because it does need to be controlled in a better way. But this is a bit too much and you know again anyone can be affected no matter what type of content you upload technically speaking if you swear in your video and some of my favorite youtubers swear on regular basis is um john tron um you know I, i've seen boogie swear boogie 298 i've seen him swear total biscuit um swears on occasion um you know there's, there's plenty of people who i enjoy and who put out genuine funny and entertaining content who could lose part of their livelihood and yes some of the bigger youtubers are probably unlikely to be affected too badly because they have other you know revenue streams but some of those medium and small size channels who do depend on you know ad revenue they're really caught in a catch-22 situation because they've got no alternative from the sounds of it even the big youtubers aren't getting that much help from youtube or their networks i'm not connected to a network and i'm probably going to stay that way for a while because I like to handle my own stuff, you know, do the channel in my own way. Um, and, you know, but a lot of the, the bigger YouTubers aren't getting help through networks anyway. So it kind of leaves the smaller channels to say, well, what are we supposed to do? You know, again, some people are literally quitting their jobs to try and make a go with YouTube because they're getting a bit of success. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's like, boom, nope, you're gone. Your monetization is gone. Um, your only access to ad revenue is gone. And um, you know, I think this is gonna this is gonna see a big influx in Patreon um, accounts being opened. Uh, you know, I have a Patreon account which I only have as an optional extra. You know, it's kind of like if you want to help support the channel, and that's exactly what a lot of other people have as well. But I think people are gonna start depending on more, more and more of that to actually support themselves. Um, you know, in in terms of full time work. So it's really difficult to see where things are gonna go from here. I mean. I asked the question earlier, is this, um, you know, is this something that 
YouTube has implemented completely themselves, or have the advertisers had a say in this? Has someone from, uh, you know, who one of these big companies who probably advertise YouTube said, we don't want our adverts coming on any of these types of videos, and that's what, you know, has caused YouTube to sort of kick in and say, right, we're putting these rules in because we don't want to lose our sponsors, we don't want to lose the advertisements, we make a lot of money off them, um, you know, because essentially that's what YouTube is going to be doing here. If they are removing the adverts from the videos, um, because they're not suitable, then YouTube is losing a lot of money. Because these, you know, there's going to be tens of millions of video impressions that are lost, um, you know, by demonetizing all these videos at once. Um, and that's a lot of money, a lot of money to YouTube and the content creators. So, you know, I don't know if YouTube would shoot itself in the foot as much as it has here, just on their own, you know, sort of whim. Um, so I kind of get the feeling maybe the advertisers have had a say in this. If, for whatever reason, they demonetize the videos for the content creators and still place ads on the videos, then that is such a hypocritical thing to do because the ads are still there. And people have said, and I agree with this, that it's okay for advertisers to put, you know, their commercials and all their product placements on, you know, shows and TV channels that have, like, Game of Thrones um, and all these other violent programs, you know, that deal with drugs and violence and sex. You know, it's okay for them to put their content there, but it's not okay on YouTube. Um, kind of, again, is a bit contradictory. I mean, again, I... This has only really been happening over the last 24 hours. Total Biscuit pointed out that this act change actually was made in the terms of service a year ago, but it's only now that it's getting strictly enforced, and it's only over the last 24 hours that it's really started to show up. Um, and it's been all over the news. I was walking to work this morning, and that's when I first saw it, and I didn't really think I'd make a video on it, but then I thought to myself through the day, actually, I could end up getting affected here really bad. So I wanted to make a video on it. Interestingly enough, um, you know, you might see in the title of this video, I've got Uncensored. I'm running a little bit of an experiment here to see how this works, because from what I've read is that there are keywords that will cause a video to become unmonetized, and apparently Uncensored is one of those, so I've put that in the title of the video um, to see if that happens, because if it does, then it's broken, because I've not, well, I have technically sworn here, but, you know, this isn't, uh, this is, I wouldn't deem this video unsuitable for advertisements. Um, I'm not going to lose, you know, a lot of money off this either way, you know, so if it gets demonetized, you know, hey, it's proven a point that, you know, it's an automatic system that maybe isn't perfect and, you know, needs to be looked at before they start rolling this out again full time. Um, but I'll let people know if that actually happens. You know, if you follow me on Twitter, which is in my channel uh, description below, uh, I will keep people up to date if that does happen. Um, hopefully this all gets resolved. In the meantime, I'm going to keep an eye on it. Uh, but that's really my two cents. You can tell this is a serious video when I don't have my headset on. I take the headset off and my serious head is here. You know. Um. So yeah, guys. I'd love to get your guys' opinions on it. Have any of you been affected by this? Any of you who are content creators, no matter how big or small, I'd love to know if you've been affected. And um, yeah, I will see you all very soon.